Hey Mustangs, welcome back to another episode of The Spill. It's Friday, March 8th, 2019. I'm your host, Riley Green, and I'm here with Kristen Anderson. For your stories today, we'll be reporting on today's holiday, a political sentencing, and a school's action. Stay tuned for the latest. Latest. In world news, today is International Women's Day. The worldwide holiday was first held on February 28, 1901 in New York and was organized by the Socialist Party of America. This quickly spread to other countries and in 1910 an International Socialist Women Conference was organized. One German woman proposed the idea for the holiday and it was backed by several other members of the council. However, no date was set at that meeting. Over 100 women from 17 countries agreed that the holiday would promote equal rights for women. The following year, on March 19th, over a million people in Austria, Denmark, Germany, and Switzerland marked, marked March 19th, the first International Women's Day. There were 300 celebrations in the Austro-Hungarian Austro Empire alone. In 1914, the first celebration on March 8th was held in Germany, possibly because that was a Sunday, but is now held on that day around the world. This day claims to promote women's equality and to protest discrimination based on someone's sex. In national news, former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort was sentenced to 47 months in prison yesterday. He was convicted for financial fraud obtained by special counsel Robert Mueller during his investigation into Manafort's alleged collusion with the Russian government in 2016. While these are, while these are serious white-collar crimes, Manafort was not convicted of any crimes directly related to his work with the president's campaign. Even so, at three years and 11 months, this sentencing is the longest given thus far to anyone convicted in the Mueller probe. In local news, Hopewell Elementary is answering the question every student has. When will we use this in real life? The school partnered with the Okoe Crossing to bring the first Food City Family Math Night, where students and their families went around and used store items for different math problems according to their grade level. With the goal of finding the best value, the students in the upper grades solve problems to buy items and make family meals. This, this event not only helped kids with their math skills, but also taught them that they'll use these skills when they get older. This event was the first of its time in the Cleveland area and is surely one of many to come in the future. And now, after the break, Riley brings us a closer look at a successful separation. Stay tuned. Today, a pair of conjoined twins re returned home to Bhutan from Australia this week after receiving life-saving surgery. The twins, Nima and Dawa Peldon, were born in 2017 facing each other and joined at the stomach, unable to move on their own. They were flown to Australia in October of 2018 by the Children First Foundation to receive treatment. There, a team of 25 surgeons, nurses, and anesthetists performed a six-hour-long procedure to separate the two. After the successful operation, they were kept in Australia for recovery and observation. Nurses say that Nima and Dawa were always trying to remain close to each other even after the separation, and that their mother was always nearby to keep them watch and to keep them company. Now that they're back in Bhutan, the twins and their parents will begin to settle back into normal life. That's all for your news today. Now on to school announcements. second during map. There you'll see Mr. Mann, Mr. Sosville, Miss Brown, Miss Freeman, Miss Brady, Miss Pickens, and Miss Wolfert singing, dancing, tapping, twirling, and reciting. Tickets are one dollar and can be purchased at the stable. Do you want a challenge? Do you like debate and discussion? Do you enjoy a good story? Do you want to learn about why we do the things we do? If you said yes to any of these questions, ask your guidance counselor if you qualify for admission into advanced placement classes for the 2019-2020 school year. 
Classes are available as of March 6, 2019. Our AP Human Geography, World History, U.S. History, Literature and Composition, Language and Composition, Calculus, Chemistry, Statistics, Psychology, and Government. These kinds of classes look great on scholarships and college applications, so be sure to sign up. Walker Valley's chess team placed third in the Region 2 chess tournament. They will compete at the state level at the end of March. The team consists of Sam Sullins, Arthur Jer, Josh Dowden, and John Sullins, with Mr. Sosbill as their coach. That's all for your school announcements. Now for an update from outside from Ashton and Chris for weather. March 8, 2019. Today's weather is a scattered shower with a 100% chance of rain, and it's going to drizzle for a rizzle. <laughs> right now, the temperature in the valley is 50 degrees, and your humidity level resting at 84. Your high for today is 50, and your lows are in the 47s. That's all for Walk By Weather Report. Now back to the studio for your pop culture news. See you guys. Bye. What's up, Walker Valley? I'm Madison. And I'm Brittany. And we're here to give you the latest pop culture news. The band, oh, the band Deftones have confirmed that they are working on a new album. Their previous album, Gore, was released in 2016 and their fans are ready for some new music. Lead singer Tina Moreno says that he believes it is most likely their, exper it is most like their experimental early 2000s album, White Pony. Former One Direction star Louis Tomlinson has released a new song called The Two of Us and it will break your heart. The subject of the song is his mother, Joanne Deacon, who passed away just two years prior. For an update on last week's story regarding Will Smith's lead from the Suicide Squad 2 cast, the new actor to play Deadshot has been confirmed to be Idris Elba. That's all for your exciting pop culture news today. Tune in with us next time, and now on to your sports with Chase and Nico. Hey Mustangs, it's Chris Dotson, and we're going down the Humanities Hall to do questions of the week with some supernatural questions. So the question is, do you think ghosts exist and why? Yes, and because I, I want to love one. Thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> do you think aliens exist and why? Yes, because my dad's an alien. You guys heard this. Yo, we got to quickly go get Barack Obama again, right? Yep. <laughs> uh, yes, because of the statistical probability of like, you know, the universe is just so massive that it has to be a probability, but when it comes to actual UFO stories, like alien sightings here on Earth, I think they're all a bunch of nonsense, really. Mm -hmm. All right. So do you think ghosts exist and why? Uh, yes, because the band, the band room's actually haunted. Ever since they renamed it the Danny Coggins Auditorium, there have been like sightings and stuff. Like, if like, what, you, like what kind? Like, okay, so I work backstage during the play. If you sit on the left side of the stage, you can hear stuff just happening and no one's in the band room. You'll hear like people tapping on the xylophone, but no one's in there. I think I may have witnessed that during one of my plays. I'm not gonna lie, that's a, that's a, little, that's a little weird. Let's, uh, let's get that checked out, Mr. Akiona. Let's get that checked out. We should check that out ourselves, man. Honestly. <laughs> Ghost Adventures. No, like, we could tell a story with this episode now. We could. We could actually make a story out of it now. I know. Mr. Benton, yeah. just can, real quick of a question. Okay. So I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you think ghosts exist and why? Ghosts do exist because without ghosts, there would be no Scooby-Doo, and Scooby-Doo is real. That's a, that's a good show, too. But listen, I was given some information that the band room is haunted. Band room, the band room is not haunted. Uh, the band room is a, uh, a place of peace, 
uh, and it is open to all kinds. So there may be ghosts, but it's not haunted. So I was getting information that uh, it was after they has name, renamed it to the Danny Coggin uh, room. Um, xylophones were playing. Well, well, no, 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 no. no. That's the auditorium. auditorium. The band room is not Danny Coggin. Mm -hmm. uh, just the auditorium. So the auditorium is definitely haunted. Sources come from me that uh, that the auditorium is actually haunted by Danny Coggin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen him. Do you know anything about that at all, though? Well, it was kind of a weird circumstance, but um, I was just in the auditorium one night and I saw this figure going across through the um, like the soundboard up there in the back. Really? And uh, dude, I don't know. I don't know. It might have been like a student, but it was like way after hours, so I don't know. Like what time in the hours, you know? Maybe like 9:30, 10. What are you doing here at 9.30 at night? Oh, I was helping out with the musical. Oh. You know, I think ghosts exist. Um, I think they're all around us. And I think that it may not be in the way that most people think, and they're just spooky people. Maybe angels and demons. I don't know. Uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, ghosts exist. What's up, Mustangs? I'm Chase, and I'm here with my co-host, Nico. We're here today to give you your daily sports news. Damian Lillard and Russell Westbrook went at it last night. Russell finished the night off with 37 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists. Dame had 51 points, 5 rebounds, and 9 assists, but it wasn't good enough for the Trailblazers. The final score was 129 and 121. Paul George has been on fire, averaging 28 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, and is an MVP candidate. The Buffalo Bills are trying to close down a deal on Steelers wa star wide receiver Antonio Brown. Bradley plays a not today against Herbert at 3.30. Go Bears. That's all for our show today. For complete recap of The Spill, check out our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at The Spill TV. I'm Nico. And I'm Chase. Have a great day and thanks for watching.